Let's go to 6e. Let t be the tangent to the graph of f at x equals negative 2. Sketch the graph of f for x greater than or equal to negative 5 and less than or equal to 5 and y greater than or equal to negative 20 less than or equals to 20. When you are asked to sketch the graph, here's the four marks. One mark, go to window setup. You have to set up uh, the given window like this. Then the pattern of the graph uh, will be one point. Then x and y intercept will be one point. Minimum and maximum points on the graph uh, is uh, another point. That's how you get those uh, four marks. First of all, you need to put it into your graphing calculator window exactly as given. Then for y minimum, this negative 20, 20, I put the skill is 2. You can put the skill as a 5 or 4. It's really up to you. Then get those uh, 0, 2.5 or 2. This will be the vertical asymptote line. You know that. Look at the original function. You have a denominator that x equals to 0. That will be the vertical asymptote line. So there is no y-intercept for this uh, graph. And also, you get this uh, minimum point, that negative 2. And uh, y is a uh, 6. So this point is negative 2, 6. This point, that is 2.5, 2, 0. Now we can sketch the graph. Make sure for x is a negative 5, here is a 5. Then this will be 20. Here is a negative 20. So I need to erase this. Then find the negative 2, 6. This will be here. Find the 2.52 here. Then you just need to sketch the graph. We have a vertical asymptote line that is uh, x equals to 0. So this will be the asymptote line. This point is a minimum point. So we go this way. So remember, when you sketch the graph, make sure window setup the same as a given. Then pattern of the graph, your x, y, intercepts, and a minimum or maximum points. For 6f, let t be the tangent to the graph f at x equals negative 2. We know this is a negative 2, this point. Draw t on your sketch. That is a horizontal line. Yeah, make sure you pass through this point and also pass through this uh, 6. For 6G, the tangent T intersects the graph of F at a second point P. Use your graphing display calculator to find the coordinates of P. First of all, we need to put the Y2 equals 6. Because we already got the Y equals 6 is the tangent line at x equals negative 2. 
Then graph, we need to figure out this uh, intersection. Intersection, that is a four, six. That's the coordinate for this uh, P. Let's go to seven, eight. The equation of a curve is given as a uh, y equals uh, 2x squared minus 5x plus 4. Find the dy by dx means we just need to figure out the derivative. So we get uh, dy over dx equals 2x squared with the derivative minus 5x to the derivative plus the 4 with the derivative. This is the formula power rule of a derivative equals drop down n x is n minus 1. Therefore, drop down this 2, 2 times uh, 2 x. That minus uh, this one will be 5. Here's a 0. Organize that is a 4 x uh, minus 5. So equals 4 x minus 5. For 7 b, the equation of line L equals this. Find the x coordinate of points on the curve of y equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 4, where the tangent line is a parallel to L. Parallel to L means the slope will be the same. For 6x plus 2y equals negative 1, we need to change it into y equals mx plus b format so that we can get the slope. So move 6x the other side, get the 2y equals negative 6x minus 1. Then we divide by 2. You will get the y equals negative 3x minus 1 over 2. So the slope is a negative 3. That is negative 3. Tangent, that means uh, derivative. So you will get the derivative of uh, f of x equals negative 3. The derivative, that is a 4x minus a 5, we already figured out. So we set up 4x minus 5 equals to negative 3. Then we add 5 both sides. You will get the 4x equals 2 divided by 4 both sides. x equals 1 over 2. That's the answer. x coordinate of the points will be x equals 1 over 2. For 8a, the figure shows the graph of uh, the function f of x equals 1 over 4x squared minus 2 and g of x equals uh, x. Differentiate f of x with uh, respect to x. So f prime of uh, x equals 1 over 4x squared, we do derivative, minus 2, we do derivative. This will be 0. 1 over 4 times 2x. Then reduce. You can use a calculator. You will get a 1 half x. So this will be 1 half x. For 8b, differentiate the g of x with respect to x. We know g prime of uh, x equals uh, 1 because for derivative of x equals to 1. For hc, calculate the value of x for which the gradients, when you talk about gradients, slope or it's a f prime of uh, x or g prime of x. Of the two graphs are the same which means that f prime of x equals g prime of x. That is 1 over 2x equals to 1. So multiply by 2 both sides, you will get the x equals 2. 
for eight d draw the tangent to the parabola of the point uh, with the value of x found in part c so x equals two For this uh, tangent line, we know the slope equals to 1, means uh, 1 over 1, go up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. So you will get the up 1, right 1 from this point, up 1, right 1 is here, up 1, right 1 here, up 1, right 1. Then we connect this uh, point. Make sure you know passing through this point for x intercept and v intercept, then this point. When you see draw, we need an accurate answer. Let's go to 9a. The function f of x is defined by this. Write down the equation of a vertical asymptote line. That is, uh, make a denominator equal to 0 x equals to 0. Find the derivative of f of x. So we get the f prime of x equals 1.5 x, we do derivative. Then plus 4, we do derivative plus. Remember you change 6 over x into 6 times x to the negative first power. Then, when you do the derivative for this, you will get uh, 6 times negative 1 x is a minus 1, that negative 2. So you get negative 6 over x squared. Derivative of uh, 1.5 x will be 1.5. This will be 0. This we already get from here minus 6 over x squared. Look at the 9c. Find the gradient of the graph of function at x equals negative 1. So we plug negative 1 into this uh, derivative function. You will get the 1.5 minus 6 over negative 1 squared. That is 1.5 minus 6 equals negative 4.5. Then 90, using your answer to part C, decide whether the function f of x is increasing or decreasing. We know that uh, derivative of uh, f of uh, negative 1 equals negative 4.5. That's less than 0. Therefore, the graph is uh, decreasing. For 9e, sketch the graph of f of x for x greater than or equal to negative 10, less than 10, and y is greater than or equal to negative 20, less than or equal to 20. Remember when you sketch the graph, make sure the window setup is the same as given, and a pattern of the graph and a x and a y intercept, minimum and maximum points. From the given function, we already know that uh, we have a vertical asymptote line, that is uh, x equals to 0. Therefore, this will be the vertical asymptote line. We don't have a x intercept, we don't have a y intercept either, but we do have here that uh, maximum point is negative 2, negative 2. This is the minimum point that is a 2 and a 10. So we will set up the graph like this.
This will be ten. Here's a negative ten. This will be twenty. Here's a negative twenty. So we erase this uh, x to one. Find the maximum point that is a negative two and a negative two. Each of these will be two. Here's negative two. Therefore, this point and a two ten, two ten, two four. Six, uh, eight, ten is here. This point. After you find these two points, uh, then you can sketch the graph. Remember vertical asymptote line. So we have uh, the graph like this. Remember, we have vertical asymptote line that is uh, x equals to 0. Let's go to 9f. P1 is the local maximum point and P2 is the local minimum point on the graph of uh, f of x. Use your graphing calculator to write down the coordinate of uh, P1. P1 is a maximum that is here, negative 2 negative 2. For the P2, that will be minimum. That is 2, 10. For 9G, using your sketch from E, determine the range of the function f of x for x greater than or equal to negative 10 and less than or equal to 10. That is uh, from negative infinity to go to this uh, negative 2. Then from this uh, 10 to positive infinity. Therefore, we will write down from negative infinity to negative 2. Negative 2 is a bracket union set from 10 to infinity. Go to 10a. The table given below describes uh, the behavior of uh, f prime of uh, x. We know f prime of x is the derivative function of f of x in the domain x between negative 4 and uh, 2. State whether f of 0 is greater than, less than, or equal to f of uh, negative 2. Give a reason for your answer. Let's try to sketch the graph. For x between negative 4 and uh, negative 2, derivative of less than 0 means uh, the graph is uh, decreasing. Let's draw like this. Then at x equals to negative 2 equals to 0. This one could be minimum, maximum, or stationary inflection point. When x between negative 2 and 1 greater than 0 means uh, increasing. So basically, like this. This point, that is a negative 2, this will be minimum point. When x equals to 1, here is a 0. Then x between 1 and a 2 still increasing. So we have uh, another increasing here. This point, that's uh, x equals to 1. It will be stationary inflection point. So we can sketch the graph like this. From uh, Negative 4 to negative 2 is a 
decreasing. Then increasing. Then at this point, we have a stationary inflection point. Now let's go back to 10a. See the weather f of 0 is greater than less than or equals to f of negative 2. Definitely it's a greater than. Given the reason, because negative 2 is a minimum point. For 10b, the point negative 2, 3 lies on the graph of f of x. Write down the equation of tangent to the graph of fx at this point p. We know this is a minimum point, therefore, the Tangent line will be a horizontal line. That is a y equals a 3. This a 3. For 10c, the point negative 2, 3 lies on the graph of f of x from the information given about f of prime of x. State whether the point negative 2, 3 is maximum minimum or neither give a reason for your answer it will be minimum point because uh, f of prime of uh, x is uh, less than zero for x between negative four to negative two and uh, f of prime of uh, x is a uh, positive for x uh, greater than negative 2 and a 1. Therefore, for x equals negative 2 must be minimum point. Or you can scratch this graph and uh, add the reason. And uh, for the 10a, the reason you also could say one x between negative 2 and a 1 and then the graph is uh, increasing. Therefore, you have uh, f of uh, 0 greater than f of uh, negative 2. Or you can sketch the graph like this uh, or you could uh, say from the given information, f of a negative 2 is a minimum point. Let's go to 11a. A function defined by this. Write down the expression for derivative. Make sure you change everything into the power form. So 5 times x to the negative second power for this. Then we do derivative for that equals 5 times uh, negative 2. Then negative 2 minus 1 is the x to the negative third power. Therefore, you get negative 10 over x third power. So you get uh, negative 10 over x to the third power. For 3x, derivative will be 3. Constant number will be 0. So this will be the derivative for f of x. Now let's go to 11b. Consider the graph of f. The graph of f pass through the point 1, 4. When you see the function pass through the points, it is a plug-in game. Find the value of c. I plug in x equals to 1, y equals to 4 to this original function. So we get the 4 equals 5 over 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 6. 4 equals 5 plus 3 plus 6. Then 6 equals 
this will be 8 4 minus 8 c equals negative 4 so we get the c equals negative 4 for 11 c there is a local minimum at point q find the coordinate of q when you see the minimum which means the derivative of f of x equals to 0 that means this function equals to 0 so we set up negative 10 over x to third power plus 3 equals to 0. You can use graphing calculator solve this, or you can do c minus 3 both sides, negative 10 over x to the third power, and uh, equals to negative 3, cross multiply. You will get a negative 3 x third power equals to negative 10. x third power equals 10 over 3. So x equals cubic root of 10 over 3. If you put into calculator, you will get the 1.49. It's easier to put into Ukraine solver. And then the x equals 1.49. Then remember you have to plug into the original function 1.49 to this uh, function. We already got c equals negative 4. So we plug in. That is the 5 over 1.49 squared plus 3 times 1.49 then minus 4 put into calculator you will get 2.72 so the coordinate of a Q will be 1.49 and a 2.72 the easiest way is you put the this function into graphing calculator then get the minimum point directly that is a 1.49 2.72 this is the best way to figure out this uh, q then for 11d there is a local minimum at point uh, q find the set of values of x for which the function is decreasing the function decreasing is only here. This is a decreasing. We do know that uh, this uh, x-axis is a vertical asymptote line. So the value of uh, x for which the function is decreasing will be from 0 to 1.49. For 11e, let t be the tangent line at p. Show that the gradient of t is negative 7. Point p is a 1, 4. So we get a gradient means the derivative of f of x. Now the x is a 1. So we get the f prime of 1 equals we plug into this uh, derivative function, you will get the negative 7. For 11f, we want to find the equation of t. We know this slope of a tangent line equals negative 7. Then the x1, y1 is 1, 4. So we plug into this uh, formula. This will be the answer. For 11g, t intersects the graph again at r. We're looking for this r for intersection so we put the y1 and y2 remember you cross this negative 4 the other side get the y equals 4 then get the intersection that is r 